All right, it is Sunday, April 14, 2024. I'm out here at the Fairplex in Pomona for the Pomona Auto Swap Meet. I film this one seven times a year, which is how often they have it. Uh, they always get a lot of great cars on display and for sale, and it's always a popular video for the channel. I uh, just spent two days up in Las Vegas filming Rat City Ruckus, so those videos are up on the channel, and I did make it back last night, and uh, so I'm here this morning. It's 42 degrees, it's very cold for California, uh, but there's always going to be a great turnout, especially since the rain forecast got pushed back till this afternoon and not for this morning. So let's go have a look. So they're definitely rolling in. I think people are waking up realizing it's not raining and heading out here for swap meet action. Next swap meet is uh, June 23rd, because someone's going to ask. So next one's June 23rd. Uh, we're going to start off here, uh, some of the cars that are for sale on trailers. We have this uh, 47 Studebaker flatbed commercial truck. Go over this one. We got a couple 60 Buicks with uh, for sale sign. This one's electric 225 convertible. No info on the for sale sign, unfortunately. On the side is just like a flyer for some uh, company. That's not really, I always say if there's no info on the uh, for sale sign, sometimes they're for sale somewhere else, marketplace, Craigslist, bring a trailer or whatnot. Still a couple very beautiful 60 Buick electric 225 convertibles. Thank you brother, God bless. Yeah, it's very clean, 84 Nissan. 27,000 original miles on it. This one looks like straight out of some old lady's garage. Yes, this is a 40 year old car now. It comes with Snoopy. Got a Snoopy. Yeah, this uh, Toyota pickup is for sale. So, it's a 91 model. Very clean uh, with a manual transmission. I say I tend to focus in on the uh, vehicles that are for sale. How about a uh, Humvee? Forty-nine thousand brings this one home. I'm not sure if it's like one of the former military ones. I believe this is actually how they look at it. I know they did make civilian models as well. Be sure to uh, like the video, which on TV involves hitting pause, going over to the thumbs up symbol, and hitting that. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. The 79 Courier for 5300 might be a bit of a Pomona price, if you ask me. Uh, let me know what you think was a good deal, what you think wasn't such a good deal, all that good stuff. Helps us out with the algorithm, which has been kind of goofy this past year. Got a 3600 series uh, Chevy pickup, 1950 model, 35,000. This is all original, but that definitely looks like it's been repainted. The clear coat is coming off. So get you a good shot. So next week, I got Mopar Spring Fling on Saturday at Woodley Park in Van Nuys. Sunday, Fabulous Fords Forever at Irwindale Speedway. Week after that, we're in Chino for the Corn Feed Run. As always, check the attentive list, which will be in the comments section post at the top. Shortly after the video post, let you know what I'm planning on hitting in the near future. Grand Wagoneer. Also, I've recently added a lot more uh, events to the uh, tentative list and changed a few things around, so make sure you check the version on the latest video on the channel. 
The Antique Nationals was supposed to be at Irwindale today. Uh, so we have a look at the 69 Camaro, no price on it. And due to the forecast of rain, they moved it to May 26, which is right after the Sunday after I'm up in Santa Maria filming two days at Cruise and Nationals. I'm gonna try to make it there if I'm not destroyed after doing Santa Maria because I've actually got a concert that night as well. So a very busy weekend for me. So I did add it to the tentative list. And uh, Malay's Days, I believe, is not happening on June 1st. So I switched it to the Still Saving Lives show in Woodland Hills since it's near my sister's. So my daughter's going to spend the day at my sister's while I'm filming and then I'll head over there afterwards. Got an orange Chevy Cameo pickup. Not for sale, but you don't see these very often. A 68 Chevy Impala. Two door. 18,500. 327 with a four speed. There you go, a four speed. That's factory, that's a very interesting combination. Looks like it's out of Washington State. We got a 1960 Cadillac Coupe for 22,000, I believe, is what that says. It's got a LS swap, 5.3 LS swap, runs and drives. Yeah, look, unfortunately all the cars are, they've been here all night, they're all covered in rain. A lot of them, the uh, windows are fogged up. We got a 74 Opel Manta. These were sold. This is German General Motors. Sold at uh, only thousand bucks. Sold at Buick dealerships, if you don't know, in the United States. So they had like four people come up to me yesterday at Rat City Rockets. Wait, you're here? You're not doing Pomona? It's like, no, I'm driving back and doing Pomona. Always working hard trying to bring you these shows. Got a Jaguar XJ of some kind. Convertible. XJS convertible, 5,900. Hopefully that comes through. These are very popular at Palm Springs, as you can imagine. For your British motoring needs. Last tagged in 2016, so don't know what the story is there. I'm not going to say these are the most reliable vehicles because they are not, so. And here we go, back where I shot the intro. We got this 1935 Plymouth Coupe. So he's asking 25000 hopefully. I can't reach up there, and I'm not climbing on the guy's trailer. 100% original. Yeah, this looks original. Straight out of a barn. So this would have the Flathead 6. He's already got it uh, registered. Recently, a 9K series plate. Now, here we go. This one's easier to read. Original Flathead 6. The uh, stress track that's been uh, touched up there on the fender. And a 71 Datsun pickup. No price on it. There you go. The sign is legible. I would say, as these go, this one is definitely above average from how you find them. Blue plate truck. Six. 
my own. Six hundred. I'll give you six thousand. No, I'll give you six thousand. So I get to the Volkswagen section towards the end of the video. It's Chrysler Imperial. Or sorry, it's an Imperial by Chrysler. S63 F100 unibody short bed 292 three speed. So she got the Y block 8000. Not, not completely out of line for one of these. For a short short bed, check that out. Even got the original AM radio in it. I would say this one is advertising. This one's probably this one's probably going to change hands. And probably not today. In the next couple of days, let me get a look at this side. For the rotary fans, we got this Mazda RX-784. It's 3,800. See info on that. Does have a little bit of rust, a little bit of uh, metal missing there. 2005 is the last tag, so it's been parked a while, and it's got the uh, mismatched door. So she needs a little bit of help. Got a, a 1957 T-Bird. Entertaining serious offers, 15,000. Yeah, she's a bit of a project. Most everything is available for these. Got a 61 Apache. Half ton, 15,000 on this one. She's got the Pertina. Is a long bed variety. That gets you in there. Bit on the rotten side. And it's got uh, a little bit of metal missing there on the lower fender. Had a uh, Porsche 914 for a bunch of stuff crossed out. 25,000. It's 22.5. So there's the info on that. Venture guess that it's the four cylinder version, not the six. So we'll look. Yeah, it's the 2.0. Yeah, I think the price would be higher if it was the six. A 1970 Ford Mustang Coupe. And that's a 302. Two years for 20,000. <laughs> it's the info 909 area code. Sitting on Craigers. Are you buying them all? A 1953 Willis Jeep. 17,500. Comes with a shovel. It's got the military tag on the uh, dash. Yeah, usually the military ones have like some sort of, yeah, it has the instructions. A lot of times the ones that were military will actually have a tag saying which branch used it. Uh, 95. Ford F-350 Dually Crew Cab, 8,000. Ready to tow your boat, your car trailer, 
gonna have a fifth wheel hookup. Yeah, it's got a fifth wheel hookup in the uh, bed there. Your giant trailer. Yeah, 94 OBS Dually 63,000 miles is the info on that. 72,000 on this one. Does have some clear coat issues. It's that 90s paint. It says it's got a 454. Dodge pickup for one thousand four hundred. See him on that. Oh, he's got a second sign right there. Bill of sale only. No bed. Got a Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Sorry, it's an Edo Auto. That's what it is. Over 12,065 mile. I'm sure somebody out there has the letters for those. Seems like something that either would be remade or uh, could be located. If they hack the dash for a uh, 90 CD player, and this time it's just an Edo. That's the 66 number. He's got it behind the uh, sticker. It's the Victoria Tudor hardtop variety. Sounds pretty healthy. I think I'd be regretting not grabbing my sunglasses this morning. <laughs> Sometimes the weather forecasters are not quite accurate. Shoebox Force was a 49. She got a flathead. Looks like it's been sitting a couple minutes. Here's for 4,500. It's got a 909 Inland Empire number. So it's got old uh, baby moon wheels and caps. It came out of Oregon. Does have a little bit of rust down there on the bottom, on the rocker and the door. If I can get further away, you can see it. Overall, looks like a good project car. Everybody watch you on YouTube. Not in the Volkswagen section, but there is a Volkswagen. So this one also has an Inland Empire number, no price on it. It's kind of purpley to me. An older cow style, maybe. Recently registered California or a new plate. That doesn't always mean it was recently registered in California. Sometimes they had a personalized plate or a handicap plate or something like that. A 64 Chevelle, no, no drivetrain. I could see through the grill. 4,500. Needs a windshield. I'm a 
about 150% sure those are available for these. Can't imagine they wouldn't be. Or it looks like it needs some repair. Looks like some Bondo was applied over the years. Take it down this side since this is definitely the better side. It's like they did tack and pop out at one time. Got a uh, 57 Chevy Nomad. I'll bring you the sign first. Here's the uh, number. It's like they were like mid project on this one. I can't even see up in there. I think it's got a motor. I see an air cleaner popping up. Fortunately, my camera can go higher than I can. My head can. Uh, 49 Plymouth convertible project. Saw this one on the, I believe, a marketplace the other day. Popped up on my feed. There's the info again. I think it's, yeah, at 25, he dropped it to two. It's a little bit of rust. I mean, fortunately, in these, you can find four door parts cars fairly inexpensively for, for the 49 Plymouth. They're not like a high value vehicle, and there seems to be a lot of them around. Yeah, she's a little on the uh, rusty side. I can't get in there, but uh, I'm guessing the floors may need to be cut and pasted. Dodge Challenger, no price, but I know it ain't cheap. Uh, there we go. 318 car. Oh, it's 28,500. Yeah, that's pretty much going right on these cars now, even when they're when they're a project. And so they are not inexpensive. There go. Oh, there's a better version of that Dodge Challenger sign. So of course he put it on his uh, Square body dually, that makes total sense. So I don't know if the guy's also selling this. Got a sign here for the dually. Arizona title. It just has a phone number. So he hasn't arrived yet to wipe it down. Let's get you here. There's that. Looks like he ran it through uh, the March 8th Mecham auction. And there's the lot number, so you can kind of look up what it sold for or didn't sell for there. We have a Chevy pickup project, so the original six cylinder. The 3100 series. No price, just a phone number. Honestly, it's not terrible. Look, the there's the lower part of the cab there. It's, it's where they're very prone to rust. It's like a very dry truck. Got a, a 1964 Chevy Impala portal hardtop. Yeah, that's a 283 two barrel. Looks like here for 8,500. There's the info on that. You can see the four hardtop very often. A little bit of bubbling right there on the pillar. It's probably a story behind that. Angry X with an ax, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> gotcha. Could be. <laughs> so 
got the uh, chain link steering wheel. Boy, that X must have got really angry with that axe. Got a GMC. She's got the V8. All a Pontiac. There's all the info, 6,900 on this one. Big rear window, short bed. Get the fuel cell on the bed. Now this side might be easier to read. Size fogged up. Like a 72 El Camino. Small block. Fortunately, there's a lot of fogged windows this morning, so not as many interior shots unless they either cleaned it off or rolled the window down. It's on the El Camino. 7,566 San Gabriel Valley-ish phone number. Got the Volkswagens coming in. Shell. This one's more of an 80s variety. Headers, that'll brought carb. Here's for 4,200. It's a 1984 model. Runs and drives. Let's have a dent in the uh, tailgate. It's a bit of a little bit of a project. Got the uh, big IROC rims. Probably read that one a whole lot better. Got a Datsun. Throw on that. Oh, the phone number's on the other side. We'll bring it around the other side then. 85 at Nissan. Truck. Dual rear, rear axle. Dual tire, I should say. There you got kind of a more modern muscle car. Got a 2010 Challenger. Hey, that was uh, what 14 years ago. <laughs> it's getting there. Six speed, 35,000. They stopped making the uh, V8 cars. a lot of these at uh, Woodley Park next weekend. Got a 32 Ford Roadster. Check it out. It's got a uh, 5.0. No, it's just the EFI, so it's not, I don't think that's the HO, unless you can switch the whole thing on it. 72,500. A lot of people don't realize that the 5.0 that was in like the town car, the uh, Grand Marquis and the Crown Vic were not HO like the ones that were in the uh, Mustang, the Lincoln Mark 7, and whatnot. Get some more of this hot rod. Now, there's the info on that. 725, oh, it's 702 is the second number, so Las Vegas, or in fact, it's got a Las Vegas sticker. I'm guessing they're out of the Las Vegas area. <laughs> yes, 
Rockler body K10. Info on that is for 11,500. I can't even see the for sale sign. I just put the uh, camera up to it. brought my square that square bunny suburban I picked up out here but uh, it's still leaking on power steering unfortunately got a GTA Mustang 67 a 390 it's for 30,000 see automatic variety Thousand. It's a real GT390 car. That is a very fair price. Yeah, I got a 58 Chevy Del Rey. It says it's a former cop car. Two door. Sedan with a 348. I would guess that would be how the uh, police would outfit it. They would get the two door sedan and uh, go with the big motor for pursuits. Well, that's metal and it's that's how it's built. That's a neat car. Chevy for sale. A yeah, price on it, just, just a number. Oh, there's all the info there. 25000 is the price. It's rebuilt uh, 216. Street 6. I'm guessing a lot of the people who left their cars out overnight did have not arrived this morning to wipe them off and all the windows down yet. Uh, 53 says GMC, but it's got uh, Chevy badging and grill. It's got an easier to read sign over here. There's a panel, 18,000 on this one. We put uh, little windows there on the side. There's a utility bumper on it. That looks like a new Bronco. Got a 68 Ford Bronco. It's for sale, no price on it though. Very clean example. Looks like it was recently restored. No price. Obviously these have gotten very expensive in the last few years. And I think there's a lot of renewed interest since uh, the new ones came out. Dual tank model. There's some more information there. Play now with an automatic. A custom Ford that's for sale. Got the uh, dummy spotlights. The info is no number, no price, so maybe for sale online somewhere? I don't know. It's like it was probably customized maybe in like the 70s or 80s. 
kind of has that vibe. Oh, here we go, more info. There you go, there's the, with the number and all. Ask for a price, my, my favorite. It's like a little bit of uh, cracking down there. Uh, yeah, 1958 Chevy Impala. Two our top, 95,000 on this one. He also has the club. Chevy pickup truck. Here's for twenty-five thousand. There's that. I'll give you a good look on the interior there. Lowered quite a bit, so I'm guessing the uh, frame has been modified to accommodate. Chevy sedan for 18,000, no, no phone number, so maybe it's for sale online somewhere else. Oh, there's a number there. To Chevy. So a little production here due to the war. So it is 35,000. Got the uh, reproduction gas ration decal. I was totally original, it's because they look old. The, the one doesn't look super old. Uh, Chevy Fleet Master this guy and his son, they're viewers of the channel. The car's not for sale, but very nice example. You'll get it in the video. Got the Continental uh, Mark V. We got a lot of uh, Datsuns today. Weather guessers scared a lot of people with the rain forecast. Last 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 time uh, they had Pomona, it was there was rain in the forecast and uh, still had a good turnout. And I think this one's a little bit lighter than last time. Still, that brings out the people that are more serious about selling their vehicles. I think this time it is colder than, than the last one. 1929 Chevrolet. You know, 12,000, all original, all new wood. That's always important on these. Cars used a lot of wood, which unfortunately means years later they are much rarer than, say, their Ford counterparts due to the use of wood. Yeah, some 
Chevy here's for 35,000. This coupe, 37 Ford. He's got a uh, small block Chevy. Says he has the hood. Taking my buddy's car tonight. Yeah, better than that. He bought it because it was a little walk around on this one. Yeah. So we got a Jeep J10 pickup followed by a uh, international. Cab. Unusual combination. Got a, a 41 Chevy pickup for 46,000. Red Pro on that. Well, announced that yesterday I had a mic problem. <laughs> which most people probably will never notice on the video, but I did. So there's like a certain area where you can't hear me talking, but the audio wasn't completely muted. It reverted to the mic that's built into the camera. So I didn't lose audio completely, but it wasn't normally up to my normal standards. A 1938 Chevy for sale. No price on it, but there's all the other info. Arizona title with the LA phone number. Also, I'm gonna try to get a Mike Finds Things video for those who watch the other channel with the records. I did find some records last Thursday at a couple of state sales. Some really interesting stuff. So, if you're also a subscriber to that channel, I'm going to try to revive it once again. A uh, 54 Chevy that's for sale. This one is uh, 38,000 with a scratch. Oh no, he's got a phone number. I just saw the scratched out phone number. There's another phone number right above it. There's a two door hard top. Diamond T pickup. Yeah. Not for sale, but definitely something you don't see. I always like to bring the vehicles that are a little bit different. It's got the uh, rear plywood tailgate. You gotta look at this. This is asking 15 for this. This Model A with the Texaco on the side. See if I can bring it around the other side. So to get the barbed wire on the spark plug. And uh, there it is. And it's Ford for sale. No, no info, but the four-door sedan variety. There is your info on this one. The other side is out of Arizona, it looks like. There you go, this, is, this, is, more, this is easier to read on this side here for 9,000 or best. I bought it from the original owner, so. Got a, a 36 Ford, flathead powered. You can fill on that for 34,000. Yeah, this 57 F100. I've seen this one out here before. There Willis uh, Jeepster. This one is lifted. 
ready for off-road duty, not for sale, but something a little bit interesting to look at. I'm going to show you some of the Corvettes. The Corvette section is a bit light. Start with this uh, Stingray. That was a 67. That 25th anniversary 78 car. It's got a for sale sign on it. Now it has a big block, which uh, This likely is not kosher for California. I don't know, I know there's things you can do to make them happen. The info on that. There are ways to get them through, but that, I think if they were done early on. You know, that, yeah, it's registered in Arizona. This one looks like a in the pace car, just missing the, does not have the decals. Not all the owners put those decals. They were like, they came with the car, but uh, not all the owners actually put the decals on. So this for sale as well. This is a 69 small block 350 car with an automatic transmission. According to that one viewer a few years ago, does not exist. <laughs> this one is a roadster with the removable hardtop. People are waking up and realizing it's not raining. Let's get to Pomona. Mercury. Sixty-four Corvette Coupe. That's a cat. It's to be very original. That looks like original paint. Not it's very old paint. Uh, C4 Corvette for sale. 1993 model, 15,000. This one's an automatic transmission variety. Got a 75 pre smog Corvette, 18,000. Those that don't know in California, 75 and older, you don't have to smog. So they generally are more sought after years and smog has become very difficult and very expensive on pre OBD2 cars. Here's another 78 anniversary edition pace car. This one does have the decals on the side. 17,000 on this one. He's got the uh, pace car graphics. Like I said, not all the owners put those graphics on these. What I understand, they came in the, uh, as like a kit that came with the car. Suburban. If you haven't watched the video on the Suburban I picked up, like, I don't know, I guess about three or four weeks ago. It is up on the channel. I picked up an 86 with a 454. 
Hopefully I'll be using it for shows and things like that. Got an 03 Corvette. Dean's out more best on this one. The 50th anniversary. Oh good, he's got it here, he can read it better. In bionic blue, I guess that's the name of that color. Uh, O2 Corvette for sale, 23,900. O2 was 22 years ago. Join us for other math facts <laughs> that make you feel old. And my daughter was born in 09 and she's going to be 15 this year. <laughs> Some of the cars are just kind of parked off on their lonesome out here. That's not for sale, but kind of a cool uh, big block 68 SSRS Camaro. Used to be sort of original. Looks like the bender might have been painted at one time. But it was a very original car. Got a cage in there. I'm guessing he likes to participate in high speed antics. So that's the original stripe. Just a neat car. Got a uh, square body C10 short bed. No price, just a phone number. say if you want to sell something put a price because people tend to get turned off I know there's a lot of debate about that but uh, especially on Facebook marketplace if you don't put a price it says your thing is for free whatever you put on there <laughs> and honestly I've seen stuff that I could believe people were giving away for free <laughs> and then you contact them no 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 I'm selling it so not necessarily cars, but other things. So he's got kind of a window sticker on his uh, 55. $2,507 MSRP. What a deal. OBS Dually extended cab for five thousand. No word which uh, drivetrain it has. A seventy-three Di Tommaso Pantera. Clean 65 Chevelle Malibu. That Chevy Suburban we saw rolling in. This one's an 88. It's like he's asking uh, 8,000 or best on this one. This one's a 10 series, so a half ton. clean example I said I will hope to be bringing mine out to some shows I figure if I ever start doing merch I can put it in the back as well which would be these things are very useful this one's extremely this one's a lot cleaner than mine is of course mine uh, was purchased for much less than what this guy is asking of course I got a good deal on mine though something that's for sale. Our suburban. Yeah, 
not for sale, but pretty cool step van. I just like to bring you something a bit different. Yeah, we'll bring you another Suburban. <laughs> I think I promised in like one of the last videos. You know, this isn't going to be a Suburban channel, but I guess today we're, we'll bring you some extra Suburbans. 87 for 6,000. 500, this one is a half ton variety as well. Very similar to the one we just looked at. This one's got the barn doors though. I kind of prefer the, I know a lot of people like the barn doors. I prefer the tailgate, but I think it's better for hauling stuff. It's more pickup truck like, I guess. I think everyone has their preference. a cool Chevy van. I've had people ask me, I'm not planning on filming any van events uh, the next few months. I think everything that's kind of scheduled is scheduled on the same weekends as some of like the larger car shows that I cover. But next time one pops up on a day when there's nothing else I'm covering, yeah, I'll be probably getting my van out and heading down there. <laughs> Yeah, 65 El Camino. I just talked to a guy who he had a Mercury Montego in the last Pomona video, and it sold because of the video, he said. He said a guy who couldn't make it to Pomona, lives out in Hesperia, came and got it. So yes, people do buy vehicles from these videos. Well, it has a for sale sign, but no info. It's kind of a neat Chevy truck, though. I walked all the way over because I saw the for sale sign. He's off in his own spot. So like I said, if there's no info on the sign, it might be for sale somewhere else on the internets. Just a cool old truck. Yeah, not for sale, but kind of a cool Ford Country sedan station wagon. Do a little walk around on this one. Thing. It's got the antennas on the uh, window. I hope I can read the number on this one. 35,000. Our 56s. Yeah, we got this 59 Apache pickup for 25,000. It's a fleet side. Oh. Version long bed. See what's going on inside there. It's got a, a tunnel cover on the uh, bed. It's like an older restoration. All right. So looking into May, we've got uh, Riverside Show and Go the first weekend in May. As I mentioned before, we got Santa Maria Cruz and Nationals coming up on. Memorial Bay weekend. We do have a Long Beach slot meet next month. Reminder, June I will not be doing the Long Beach slot meet. I, I do uh, Road Kings on the same day. And a 
so I will be filling more of that calendar in as I can as dates are announced for shows things like that more rods here and the second one the red one next to it is for sale so I'll give you a good look at both of them one it's like probably an older like 80s build you guys got the old dual shaft radio it might be a 70s build there's a 31 model a there's that is the info on this car so i've seen this one at long beach now it's at pomona this uh, f350 yeah, the info's blocked out. It's 13,000. The phone number's probably one of the Long Beach videos. So if you dream of a cool vintage car hauler, here it is. Custom International Travel Hall. Again, something a little bit on the uh, different side. Shave handles and all with the billet wheels. Should tell you like what era it was built in. I understand if you have a set of those old like Boyd's wheels, like they're good. Like they, they're actually bringing some money nowadays. Obviously, they were the hot thing back in the 90s. Nice Chevy pickup. Get this cool custom uh, Zephyr. If you like the Zephyrs, check out the Grand National Roadster Show Friday video. There's like a whole hall where like half the hall is Lincoln Zephyrs. Pretty amazing display. 56 Bel Air Tudor Hardtop for sale. 61,500. Chevy. She's been swapped. This one says it's a Bel Air 210, which are actually two different models, believe it or not. It is a 210. It's got the Chevrolet script on the uh, quarters there. I think a lot of people just call like 210s and even probably 150s Bel Airs, even though they're technically not. Of course, a lot of them have been switched over over the years to the higher trim level. This is for sale. I don't, think, I don't know if there's any info. Oh, there is info. There you go. There's the number. Let me shorten the uh, for sale sign. No price on it. Had a uh, Nash Metropolitan on a uh, Suzuki Samurai. 
There's the info, 16,500 on this one. It's got like, uh, kind of like a rhino lined texture to it. Got a 57 Chevy Lowrider. It says for sale, nothing on the for sale sign to lead me to believe it's for sale. Some people just, they give you signs when you're driving in, people just throw them on their dash. Yeah, the sun has come up and it is still cold here. <laughs> Check out, I did two days of the Lowrider Super Show on Beach last month. And also, the second Del Mar video from a couple weeks ago uh, is the Lowrider Hall. Yeah, 57 convertible, under 10,000. I was just talking to a viewer here. Uh, he says it has not been recommending my videos to him. So, and I think it's been doing that to a lot of different channels. I think every channel is having this problem. That's why you need to check the, your subscriptions tab and make sure you're getting the videos uh, because the recommended feed is not sending you all the videos for the new videos for the channels you subscribe to. Olds. It's been out here several times before for sale. Which I didn't see how they, I think it's filled in on this side. Surely I was going to cut that one a little short. Didn't fall on that one. We're not in the Volkswagen section yet, but. We got this very nice 67 Beetle. There's the uh, info on that one. We got 23,500. I always have to announce that because I know people realize that when I get to the Volkswagen section, we're getting towards the end of the video. So I said we are not in the Volkswagen section yet. So here's a non Volkswagen for you. All right, so I've been here several hours, almost three hours, and it's warmed up to a whopping 48 degrees at nine o'clock. Again, cold for California. Yesterday I was complaining about the heat in Las Vegas, so what a difference a day makes. This is a cool bus. Check it out, you got the tiki's and the bamboo. I'll see a for sale sign. Obviously someone put a lot of work into this one. It's got Ford Galaxy uh, tail lights. So we got a 63 Caddy Coupe. 16,500 on this one. Mafia edition. There you go. Even May, we got the uh, Bomb Club show coming up at Santa Anita as well. That should be on the tentative list. I don't remember the exact date off the top of my head. 
I still keep trying to see if they're going to do the uh, Grand National Truck Show again this year. As of right now, they have not announced a date, which leads me to believe it's probably not happening. It's a custom Ford Coupe with a chop. Custom Merc. Has the information about if the National Truck Show is happening this year. But I have not added that weekend to the calendar yet. A couple custom 54 Chevys. So that's a for sale sign, but no info on it. Six Chevy that's for sale. It could be yours for seventeen thousand five hundred. Here we got a uh, C10 short bed. It is for sale at 85. 32,500. There's all the info. This is I'll bring another El Camino. This is the eighty seven for thirteen thousand. Info on this guy. Got a 52 Dodge Coronet sedan. 4,500 on this one. Looks like it was sitting outside for a few years. Last tag on it, it's uh, 2002. If we do the math, that's 22 years ago. We should have a math channel. <laughs> I think that might be a little high for a Dodge Coronet of that year, especially a sedan. Got a 64 Impala for sale. Hey, not seen is in the trunk. I think I found Jimmy Hoffa. He hasn't been seen in a while, has he?
yourself an interesting Chevy panel. About a 65 Plymouth Valiant, $1,500. Starts with gas to carb, so I must need a gas tank. Smells good, not burnt. Not burnt or burnt, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me what you think that says. I can't read it. I think it's a three, no, it's an automatic. Slant six with automatic. There you go, 1500 bucks. Yeah, you know, late 40s uh, Ford, two door sedan, 47. Non op on clean tiles, 2500. So I got sat outside for several years. It says lemon squeezed on the fender. The lemon squeezer, it says. Okay. There was probably a story behind that at one time. I worked at a smoothie shop. I don't know. Is that you say? You want another 80s uh, El Camino? Well, we got another one here for you. It's an 84. Could be yours for 6500 or best. This one's got an uh, interesting glitter flake. It's like an older paint job. Like you needed to change the uh, sending unit, so you just cut a hole in the bed. Nineteen sixty Chevy Bel Air two door sedan, in line six. Six with a power glide. Yeah. Hope hey, you're not you hurt. Hey, hey. yeah, body cut. Oh, it's got a Brazil sign with no info. T tops. Let's bring you the rest of the car since I already started the camera. Got a 73 Chevy Impala. Two door for eight thousand five hundred. That was seventy seven real for four thousand five hundred. There's the info on that. Got a little bit of rust poking through in spots. on the uh, trunk lid as well. Yeah, the uh, Project 1960 Chevy station wagon for 7,500. So this is Parkwood, which I believe was the top of the line in the station wagons. So we'll call the Impala trim. Uh, another El Camino, this one's a 72. And here's for 28,000, there's the info on this one. I don't think it's for sale, it's a very nicely done C10 short bed. Plymouth Barracuda, 29,000 on this one.
Got a uh, 77 FJ40 Land Cruiser for 50,000. Super clean. Of course, these have become really popular just as the Broncos have. Got a 62 Impala convertible project. 16,500. Got a bit of rust down on the door and the front fender. Guessing the floors need to be replaced. Yep. It is a pretty big project. Look at the uh, quarters there around the wheel wells. Down the other side. Yeah, this quarter needs to, this thing needs a lot of metal work. But it's raised 1962 and Pollock convertible. Not for sale, but it's a heavily pinstriped Ford Pinto station wagon. So we will bring it to you. You got a uh, square body short bed step side. This one's a 79. Could be yours for 13,500 rebuilt, 200 miles on the engine. There you go. A 79 F 150 extended cab. They call this the super cab, I believe they call that. 7,500. Yeah, it's the super cab. Is the afforded terminology. There, show this over here. Got a 46 Chevy Fleet Master here. There you go, it's 5,000 on that one. It's already got the visor on it. This is the last tag to 92. I'm not going to get close with the play because I'm trying to do a short clip for music. 53 Cadillac, sedan. It says it runs, drives, and has brakes. Those are three good things. 5,500. Let me get this caddy here. Not for sale. He's a viewer of the channel, so I told him I'd get it in the video. Got a, a 1970 Dodge swept line, two-wheel drive D100 with a 318. It is lifted uh, with big tires, but it's two-wheel drive. Here's for 18,000. That is the Adventure Series, which I believe was the top of the line in the pickup trucks. Got a, a 61 Chevy Apache half ton. Long bed, 13,500 on this one. A little bit of a project. Got a 71 C10 that's pretty much right on the ground. LS swap for 45,000, there's all the info. I got this too to pick up, 1986, 26,500. Still has the cool 80s graphics. Is the extra cab variety, four-wheel drive. Monte Carlo, that's for sale. 1970 model for 32,000. We got a 67 C10 long bed for 14,500. Got a Great Falls uh, City Chevrolet plaque on it. I see it was a lot in California because the dealers out here didn't do that. They usually just did license plate frames. Uh, 65 GT350, I'm guessing replica. Got uh, wide, got the taller 
version of the original Shelby wheels. Not for sale, just something to check out. Uh, 67 GTO. We've seen this one at Long Beach a couple of times as well. It's like it's uh, 59,000. Got a Dodge camper van for 3,500. This is like the uh, Maxi van, the one that goes way back. I think this is an Explorer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's got the uh, sunken in floor uh, so you don't hit your head, so the top, top doesn't have to be as tall. You don't see these very often. Honestly, not a bad price if it's uh, running and driving fine. Need some air in the tires, though. I believe that one is an Explorer. They got a 91 Chevy OBS. Short bed, 10,000, 4x4, four four. Cheyenne package, the like original paint's a little faded, but not a uh, 75 Caprice convertible, 10,000, unless you're reading that correctly. Needs a bit of help. Yeah, she was. She's a bit neglected. A 65 Malibu convertible super sport. So let's pull out of the desert. I told him. Needs a lot of help. Not the Chevy Love, not sure what's going on there. That doesn't look like a whole lot of love there, but <laughs> 4,000, 1980 model. Not sure what that splatter is. Let's, let's hope it's nothing bad. Let's hope there wasn't carnage involved. This one for my buddy, Nick. <laughs> he likes stuff like this. Do Century for 4,200. There's the info. Yeah, that might be a little bit of a, a Pomona price. And it comes with a, a PETA sticker, so you can be one of the cool kids with a PETA. I've seen that. I think I'll make my steak that I've been putting away for, for lunch when I get home. <laughs> that reminds me. It's a 66 Le Mans for 22000 There we go. I got this 4x4 four four Tahoe 96. Here's for twelve thousand. I'm like in a good mood today. I don't know why. Nova two-door sedan, inline six. Yeah, Seventeen thousand or best. Right, yes, it's another Suburban. It's a '99. I picked the guy who owns this as a viewer of the channel info on that 4,000. I did tell him I would get his vehicle. He said he had another Suburban, like a 69 that sold in last, the last Pomona. Another Imperial by Chrysler. This one's not for sale, but I'll have a look anyway. This is when Imperial was like a separate brand. Not for sale, but we gotta check out this Packard. Yeah, buddy. This is just a gorgeous example of a car you just don't see. <laughs> Saw this one at uh, Long Beach as well, the 62 C10. There's the info on that, 8,000. I know it runs because they brought it here and they brought it to uh, Long Beach. We have a Nova for sale. This is a 63 for 28,000. I'll show you the uh, sign. So I can come over on the other side since the 
exhaust noise is drowning out the music. Because we haven't had a Datsun in a while, we got a 1970 Datsun pickup for 9,500. Let's get the billet wheels. Yeah, like 90s S10 taillights. I think that's what those are from. I died and went to Datsun Heaven. It's like the Datsun edition of the Pomona Slot Me. And some of these uh, Z cars. This is like the feature club of the month. That's why there's so many Datsuns this time. You guys got his car while I'm going. He thinks he's at Long Beach or something. This one actually is for sale, the 73. 240. There you go, there's the uh, sign on that one. There are still cars rolling in. <laughs> People got up really late. A walk through this area. Check this one. We got an LS swapped in. He's going to come back to a resident car alarm. They're not going to have a battery left. car alarm. Hi guys with car alarms, are you tired of having to carry around jumper cables? <laughs> I used to, the only car I ever had a car alarm on, I used to have to, I used to have to get it jumped quite a bit because she was a bad tad bit, a little too sensitive. Body kit on it. I'll bring some more of these Datsun Z cars. Nor this channel isn't becoming a Datsun channel, nor is it becoming a suburban channel. <laughs> The 280. Show the old uh, louvers on the uh, back uh, window there. The A7 Monte Carlo. So it has the arrow back window. It is for 25,000 or best. Does have the T top option as well. Got a 75 Toyota Celica GT. There you go, 35,000. This one is clean. I don't think I've seen one in this condition in many, many Bug for twelve thousand. So I should announce now we are in the Volkswagen section. Got a seventy-two Carmen Ghia convertible for sixteen thousand nine hundred. There's those Vanigans for sale. So it's got the uh, Subaru conversion done on it. There's the uh, info sheet on this one. 
See, it's got a, a Subaru engine. Yeah, 1980 Vanagon Westfalia for 19,500. Can't get you other side. They've got they're sitting in front of the door, so we'll just bring you this side. A 75 Mercedes 300 diesel. This one's got the uh, sunroof. Yeah, yeah, Porsche 911, 79 for 45,000. Yeah, this looks like a thing. Volkswagen section. The one thing about the lower turnout, I've actually had to deal with less music today, which means I was able to actually film more footage for the amount of time I was here. Which is really, really nice. <laughs> I still had to deal with music and waiting for people, but I said not quite as much as I normally did. I'll bring you whatever this is, this dune buggy. Dirt car. Forty-two hundred. We have this uh, seventy-four bus panel for fifteen thousand. And we got a sixty-eight Beetle for six thousand eight hundred. It's the same seller as the bus. If you can't read the number on that one. Got a uh, lifted square back. There you go, there's the info. No price on it. That's with a cookie monster. Yeah, still no price. He's got everything but the price. That's fastback, so that's for sale for twenty-five thousand with a Subaru motor conversion. Was it a nineteen seventy-seven VW? However you pronounce that, I don't want to sound like a word that you can't say on YouTube without getting demonetized. <laughs> Yeah, 67 Beetle, 8,500. 61 Beetle for 15,000. <laughs> All right, it's going to wrap things up here at the Pomona Auto Swap Me for April 2024. The rain was in the forecast, but it did not arrive yet. I think it's supposed to arrive early afternoon. Uh, and the next Pomona Swap Meet, as I said earlier in the video, is going to be on June 23rd. So there's no Pomona Swap Meet for May. Uh, as always, be sure to like the video, which on a TV involves hitting the uh, thumbs up symbol. Uh, which does help us out. If you're on a tablet or a computer, you can just find the uh, thumbs up symbol. Leave a comment as to what your favorite car was, what you thought was a good deal, what you thought was a bad deal. Probably the standout to me would be the uh, uh, unibody Ford pickup early in the video. That seemed pretty fairly priced. Uh, we'll see. Um, and uh, there's a lot of great stuff. Like next week, we got uh, fabulous Ford Forever on Sunday. And then on Saturday, I've got the uh, Mopar Spring Fling going on. And the uh, following week, we're at Chino Corn Feed Run. So lots of great events, so be sure you come and check out those videos. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.